Hey guys, I'm Cliff from Capes and Scales. Today I will be ruining another comic book. With me I have... I'm Tim. And Olivia. And last time we ruined the beloved book Infinity Gauntlet. This time we're going to ruin Jeff Johns' The Flash Rebirth. So we're going to continue that story. I know there's more that follows it, but we're going to pretend there's a sequel to it. And see if we can ruin The Flash Rebirth, which is bringing Barry Allen back from the dead and getting rid of Wally West as the Flash. Right, and just so you're clear, if you're not a Flash reader, we don't mean the Rebirth event itself. It is a miniseries called Flash Rebirth. Right. So in Flash Rebirth, mm -hmm. if you haven't read it, Barry just shows back up. No memories or fake memories. Isn't sure why he's back. And... The story progresses, then we we'll move on to Flashpoint. But we're going to pretend that this event continues and see how we can ruin it. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. the general idea is, so Barry disappeared in 1989-ish, 88-89-90, that time frame, and then just showed back up in 2009. Best death in comics. A long one, too. Very long one. Makes it important and means something. Correct. You know, look into that now, comic book people. Keep yeah, people keep dead. It. Yeah. Keep the characters dead. It means something. Have no characters. Kill them all off. Right. <laughs> so we had Wally West, West become and take over the mantle of Flash for a really long run. Yep. 20 plus years. So what we're going to do is just get rid of Barry Allen like they got rid of Wally West. <laughs> so Wally, for in no reason given, no closure, nothing, just stops being the Flash after Rebirth. He's just gone. So what if after this, for no reason whatsoever, just Barry's not there anymore? Can we have it like he stubs his toe or something and he has to retire? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so something really, okay, something really mundane. Really lame. All right. To play off our sparkle dart dip and dot stealing from. Yeah. Yep. If you're not sure what that is, listen to the other one. Oh, dip and dot. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right, yeah, so... Stubbing a toe would be good because he's a runner. When you stub your toe, it hurts to run. Yeah, a or lot. he gets like some serious shin splints. Ooh, Ooh like yes. he just had enough running. You're, you're he, evil. He didn't like <laughs> run enough in the speed force or whatever. Like he wasn't he wasn't training right enough. And now so he kind of let himself like, go in like regular reality. Like it really, he really got out of shape. Mm. So. so the story's just <laughs> Barry being a regular human being with regular problems. And it just really <laughs> swollen ankles, just, right. just really bad. <laughs> Everything that could possibly go wrong from the knee down. Flat, he's exceptionally flat-footed, broken arches. His arches are garbage. Some plantar fasciitis. Ooh. Gonna have to Google that one. He's, <laughs> he's developed webbed toes, which can lead to problems while running. It actually gives but, him flight, but not for long. You know, stubbing his toe is what really, like, threw it over the edge. Right, because yeah. he had bad running form after that to compensate for the pain. Um, and once he couldn't run anymore, does Iris, Iris leaves him. Of course. <laughs> yeah. Iris can't take it. She's like, you're just a shell of the man you used to be. Right, you used to be famous. <laughs> yeah. And she runs off with Reverse Flash. Oh. I, I think it would be better if she... She runs off with somebody more ridiculous? Uh, somebody closer to home for... So, like, Jay. <laughs> Jay Garrett? Whoa. She leaves. Yeah. She's got to stay with a good guy, Flash. Mm. Keep the fame, you know? Sure. She likes to wear the helmet, you know what I'm saying? Right. <laughs> so, okay. So now Iris is gone. Iris is gone. She ran off with Jay. The, the Justice League has given up on Barry because obviously he's pointless. It's like, hey, we'd like to help you, but you suck. Right. Um, so we're going to just we're gonna talk and to Wally. Not, and from not using his speed force powers, they slowly go away. So he can't even use like the, the brain part of them, where he could read a lot of books really quick oh. and become this... He just slowly loses his speed force so powers. So he's like a human sloth. Yeah. Cool. Take that, Barry. <laughs> All right, so then Wally will become... Yeah, so he'll see Wally take over the mantle of Flash, mm -hmm. get all the fame... Justice League be the most important character in all of DC, arguably, Ooh, like from a that. writer's side, is you know take the place of Barry being the heart of the Justice League. Without him, you know what are they? Now Wally's the heart, the mind, 
He's the soul. Everything. He's got it all on lock. <laughs> <laughs> so we got Barry brought back in a really, really cool manner. Yeah. Super cool. And just stubbed his toe, and it all went downhill from there. No, yeah. Just flat-footed, webbed-footed. <laughs> The, the shin splints. He, he kind of <laughs> takes like the like stealing from Marvel, like the demon in a bottle kind of like. Mm. I could see Barry ending up like just really like downtrodden. So let's take this just a little further. Where does what happens to Barry now? So Barry's, let's say he's wheelchair bound, like he can't even get up now. Um, he's put on a lot of pounds. He's not healthy. What does he end up doing as a profession? Um, wait, what did he do before? Oh, he's like a forensic scientist. Forensic, yeah. So, something related to that, maybe, I don't know, maybe he's like a, yeah. I don't know, like a bookkeeper. All right, as a librarian? <laughs> I don't know. Because like, I'm thinking like the Speed Force helped with him in, with everything. Sure. Made him smarter than he would have normally have been, just in general, not using like the Speed Force brain power. Right. So, like, above intelligence, like, genius, like, borderline genius level. Mm -hmm. So, I'm assuming he's dropped, like, 20 or 30 IQ points since he's lost it. So, like, he's not doing the forensic stuff anymore. So, like, yeah, the like Dewey Decimal System, he's just putting things in number order. Oh, man. He's just an organizer? Yeah. Glorified organizer? And okay. When he's at home, he watches, like, Game Show Network, and he just kind of, like does like he's got words he's, he's trying to get real into judge judy he loves judge judy <laughs> does he write her fan mail in divorce court oh, oh nice judge joe well, brown they, they do come back to back <laughs> joe brown ain't taking none of this crap <laughs> he's got like a reclinable lazy boy his, his wheelchair is a reclinable lazy boy <laughs> yeah because the justice league felt bad for him so it's just right. turned into like a pity thing from their side such a pity party <laughs> They feel bad that they couldn't help him. I mean, in a world of cyborg parts and all this stuff, you know, they just, they're like, ah, They couldn't just... cure the shin splints. No, they were severe. The plantar fasciitis, <laughs> the stubbed toe. Still gotta Google that. Like, real bad hammer toe. Oh. <laughs> and, Ooh. uh, bunions. Ooh. Ingrown toenails. And, um... Oh, yeah, they're sticking out the front of his toe. <laughs> oh, man. He shaves them down every morning and they yeah. grow back. Like, mm. really bad calluses. Mm. And all he's doing is seeing all these people that he used to be friends with succeed, and he's he's almost turning like a really, really shitty supervillain. So he goes villain. What is his end game? Is it to make everybody as lame as he is, <laughs> or is it to actually achieve some sort of goal? No, I think it's just to make everybody as lame as he is. So how, how do you make people that lame? Uh, lots of uneven sidewalks. Oh, he's going to mess with the sidewalks. He wants everyone to stub their toe. It's a good plan because that ruins the cities. They have to try to fix right. all of these. It's, it's a mundane <laughs> problem. It's a really slow plan, but like, I swear it's a good one. It's like right. eats up taxpayer dollars. Right, and you know they're not putting money out for infrastructure. No, how could they? So, like, potholes everywhere. Everywhere. So every, <laughs> every, like, segment of sidewalk is uneven. Oh, that's great. Yeah. So it's just, it's frustrating for everyone. Like, that's like a real, like, next level, <laughs> long game plan. It's really long. Nobody goes to Central City anymore. It's a ghost town. Right. <laughs> and it's just him in the center. Like, for some... one, he yeah. feels a former shred of proudness like he used to. That he's ruined what made him famous. And then took it all away from him. So once he pretty much has the town to himself, because no one wants to be there, uh... Does he, does it fade to black? Does he get his comeuppance? What, what is the end fate? Uh, I feel like he ends up with a dog. A dog? Like, he, he found a dog to keep him company. Okay. The dog's clearly more super than he is. It's just a but dog. He's, but... just, he's like a lazy dog. <laughs> oh, so, so they were made for each other. Like matches his mentality. Oh. It's like a beagle whose entire underside rubs the sidewalk as he walks. <laughs> Is it? Does he put it on a skateboard so that no, they he can can't wheel? afford the skateboard? Oh, well, that's unfortunate. <laughs> it's a series of um, paper towel rolls that he has to set in front of the beagle. Oh. So... <laughs> okay. Okay. It's like old school building <laughs> cities of stone and stuff. You got right. it. Okay, sure. 
Because that's, that's really inconvenient. That makes perfect sense. That dog's going to move so slow. <laughs> but the dog loves him. Right. And he loves They're that like, dog. Yeah, that's all he's got left. Yeah, there's, it's just not much yeah. of a life. <laughs> he can't really take him out for walks or anything. Take him out for a drag? <laughs> well, I like that. That's a terrible way to ruin Flash Reaper. <laughs> I can't wait to draw this. <laughs> <laughs> so, guys, uh, that's been our ruining Flash Rebirth, a, another beloved story. Uh, if you have any ideas of all ones you want us to ruin, tweet at us. I'm at Hyper Hippo. Yeah, I'm at Mad underscore Dog underscore Tim. I'm at Swahili Love. Email us at capesandscalespodcast.com. At gmail.com. At gmail.com. At gmail.com. Or you could find our email address at what he just said. Yeah. Dot com. <laughs> Dot com. Yes. Dot com. Go to the website. <laughs> comment Dot com. I'm going to get that. Dot like, com. like, share, and subscribe to our video. Let us know what you want us to do. Check out other stuff we're going to have up soon. We're going to have cool stuff up. Coffee stuff. Yeah. Yeah. If it isn't up already. Coffee. Yeah, if you haven't watched it, watch it. Yeah. And yeah. check out that Infinity Gauntlet video, because it's Meh. hilarious. Meh. Tim does wonderful drawings to represent all of these. Just like the ones you just watched. I, I drink heavily, <laughs> and then I just draw, save, erase, draw, save, erase, until I've done it 50 times, and I hate myself. But it turns out to be comedy gold. People seem to like it. So, so until they don't. Mm-hmm. Thanks for listening. We love you. Bye.